Good evening. On behalf of the mayor and council in the city of Jacksonville, I'd like to welcome you this evening to a very special ceremony where we will have an oath of office taken by three of our elected officials. Before we begin that, though, I'd like to ask that we all stand and Paul Levesque will come and lead us in the Pledge to the Flag. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing. As the pledge said, we are a nation under God. At this time, I would like to ask the Reverend Joel Churchwell to come forward and give us a prayer of thanksgiving. Eternal God, we thank you yet again for allowing us to assemble on this grand occasion as we began to look forward to the future, as we install and acknowledge those who have accepted the calling to be leaders in this great community. We just ask with a thankful heart that you continue to give them wisdom from on high. They may continue to guide this great community and allow us as citizens of this great community to bond together in love to continue to strive for the greater good of all humanity. This we ask in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The United States Constitution, which was adopted in 1789, sets forth the form of government that we are privileged to live under. We enjoy our freedoms every day, and one of our freedoms is the fact that our Constitution gives us the very rare <coughs> universal privilege of electing our leaders. While we may have difficulty agreeing on many things, I think there are two things that we can all agree on, and that is that freedom is not free, and we thank our veterans every day and the active military every day for the freedoms that they defend. Amen. I think the second thing that we can all agree on is this. The election process, while we may or may not agree with the outcome, is the most important thing because it is the cornerstone. Whether it's at the local, county, state, or federal level, the privilege that we have to vote for our elected leaders is a rare privilege in this earth. Let us never forget those who fight for our freedom. Let us never forget or take for granted our ability to vote for our leaders. When you look at the city charter, here are some things that it says. In Article 1, it talks about the organization and powers of the city government. The city of Jacksonville, as presently incorporated by Chapter 280 of the private laws of 1891 as amended, shall continue to be a body politic and corporate. And henceforth, the corporation shall continue to bear the name and style of the city of Jacksonville. It goes on to say, the city of Jacksonville shall have and may exercise all powers that are granted to municipal corporations by the general laws of North Carolina. Under Article 2, it talks about the mayor and council. The officers of said city shall consist of a mayor and six council members to be elected. It further states, that the powers of this group are all of the legislative powers of the city shall be vested in the mayor and city council. Relative to the election, there shall be elected a mayor and six council members, all of whom shall reside within the city and who shall run and be elected in the following manner. Two of the council members shall run at large Four of the council members shall be elected from wards. The candidate for mayor shall be elected by the electors of the city at large. We are privileged this evening to have with us a friend of the city, a gentleman who has stood tall in our judicial system, a person that I personally call a friend. At this time, I would like to ask the honorable Charles Henry to come forward as he will prepare to give the oath. Judge Henry. Thanks, 
The oath will be first given to Mayor Sammy Phillips. Mayor Phillips, would you step forward with your family for the oath? I, Sammy Phillips, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that, I will support and maintain, that I will support and maintain the Constitution and laws of the United States, the Constitution and laws of the United States, and the Constitution and laws of North Carolina, and the Constitution and laws of North Carolina, not inconsistent therewith, not inconsistent therewith, and that I will faithfully discharge, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office as mayor, the duties of my office as mayor, and maintain and uphold and maintain and uphold all the laws and regulations all the laws and regulations of the city of Jacksonville of the city of Jacksonville so help me God so help me God <laughs> Mayor, on behalf of the staff, congratulations. Looking forward to four great years ahead. Thank you very much. time I'd like to call forward Michael Lazara and his family for the oath of office as a council member with the city of Jacksonville. Thank you, Judge. Repeat after me if you would please. I and state your name. I, Michael Lazara. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. The Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. That I will faithfully discharge. That I will faithfully discharge. The duties of my office as councilman. The duties of my office as councilman. And maintain and uphold. And maintain and uphold. All the laws and regulations. All the laws and regulations. Of the city of Jacksonville. Of the city of Jacksonville. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. You've got to introduce him early, you know. Come here, Michael. Come here, can I get a picture? Take a picture, say cheese. <laughs> come here, come here. Can we do one more? You would judge. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh. okay, you ready? Look over here. Look here, say cheese. Cheese. I want to do it. Oh, he wants to say words. Okay. You want to say something? You say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, welcome. As I mentioned, this is a very formal and yet informal group tonight. So, certainly my honor and privilege to also welcome for the oath of office, Dr. Angela Washington, council member with the city of Jacksonville. Dr. Washington and your family, please.
Okay, yeah. Look kind of my rage right, please. Look <clears throat> after me, if you would. I and state your name. I, Angela Washington. Do you solemnly swear? To solemnly swear. That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully discharge. The duties of my office as councilwoman. The duties of my office as councilwoman. And maintain and uphold. And maintain and uphold. All the laws and regulations. All the laws and regulations. Of the city of Jacksonville. Of the city of Jacksonville. So help me God. So help me God. Did great. <laughs> Now, this is, uh, this is not just a swearing-in ceremony for this young lady, but it's also her birthday. So if you would join me. Please join me in singing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday dear Angela. It gives me great pleasure at this time to ask <laughs> gives me great pleasure at this time to ask the mayor and council to come to the dais to conduct the business of the city of Jacksonville. Please come forward. organizational meeting of the Jacksonville City Council to order. Uh, we want to start by having some remarks from uh, our council members and uh, the mayor. And uh, I guess I can start with uh, our new 
newly reelected folks. I'm going to start with uh, Ms. Washington. Uh, did you want me to interpret for you? <laughs> you funny. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Um, I guess I'd like to begin by thanking all the citizens of Jacksonville that took the time to come out and vote, because it's extremely an important honor to take a privilege to come out and vote for the people that you think can, can do the job for you and can represent you at the, at, at the, city, at the city level. But um, I'm extremely honored. I've been extremely privileged to have served now almost 15 years, I guess. Close to that, We're pretty close. Um, it's just truly been an honor that, that the citizens have had the confidence in me to represent them uh, at this level. So again, I wanna thank you. I will continue to serve you uh, with the best of my ability. And um, you know that I am always available in any concern that I can be called at any given time, and I will respond accordingly. Uh, second and most importantly, I, I would be remiss if I didn't thank my family. Uh, it's a tremendous commitment to serve. Um, it takes a, a considerable amount of resources and family support is extremely important. And I want to thank uh, my family for supporting me all these years of being away and, and constantly going and, and not being there for, for their needs at times. So. Thank you to my son, Michael, Samantha, and, and my grandson, and I have a new one on the way, so we're very excited about that, and that felt like it was important for him to be here as part of this, uh, this event. Um, I would also like to thank my fellow council members who I've had the privilege uh, to work with all these years, and um, again, after 15 years, I think this has been uh, the best group of council members that I have thoroughly enjoyed uh, to work with, and I think the citizens can be proud of. Uh, we've been able to accomplish a lot of great things, and uh, we've done that together. We haven't always agreed, but we have certainly made progress in our city, and, and you could see that uh, yourself. So again, it's been an honor and privilege to serve with all of you. Um, and then the very least and not never forgotten is our, our incredible staff here at City Hall and all of our departments under the leadership of Dr. Richard Woodruff. Uh, incredible, uh, to say the least. We have some of the strongest leaders in the state. You have some of the most committed employees that you could find anywhere in every single department. And that's obviously shown with all the awards that we receive, whether it's finance, uh, storm recovery. Uh, anybody that, that was here during the last storm saw how efficient our staff was able to get this city cleaned up and back, back in good working order. And that's not a testament of us, that's a testament of Dr. Woodruff and the tremendous staff that he has. 
all the beautification along your, your corridors, Western Boulevard, and our maintenance team that keeps it impeccable. Uh, you know, we, we're not required to do that. The state's required to do that. But because we care about our city under Richard's leadership, all those corridors are kept mowed, cut, and cleaned. Um, so as you sit out there and, and listen to all of us, you, you can be assured that you have a, a, a local government and a group of people that truly care about what they do each and every day. We have a public safety that just received a national award uh, of over 18,000 different agencies and, and incredible, just incredible work locally. So I think you can be very proud of, of, of your team here at City Hall. And with that, I wanna thank all of you that took time to be here tonight to celebrate with us. Uh, it means a great deal to those of us that are sitting up here and, and we very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. You. I also echo that I'd like to thank all those of you that came out tonight to uh, observe this uh, swearing in uh, you know, of the new council, shall we say it's considered the new council, the new old council. Um, I want to thank the voters that put their trust and support in, in me and allowed me to continue as the mayor of the city of Jacksonville. That means a lot to me, being the mayor of Jacksonville. Um, you know, I've, I'm rapidly approaching the 50-year mark for service to the city of Jacksonville. So it's on the horizon, but... Uh, uh, Well, thank goodness we'll, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Um, I do want to say that I'm very thankful for being the mayor of Jacksonville during, during a period in its history of great prosperity and growth. And with that, always with growth, we always uh, in, encounter problems along the way. But uh, again, I echo uh, Mayor for Tim Lazar's uh, comments about the staff and management of the city uh, in the in the day-to-day -day operations and what they do is just unimaginable as far as keeping this city running and we've got a great team you know uh, a great team of people working together you know if it was up to us up here you know I don't know if it'd get done but you know we come up with a lot of ideas they have to carry out for us so uh we do, uh, we do appreciate uh, everything that they do, and we've got some of the best employees in, in the world. Um, I also want to say that I'm very thankful for being the mayor in a city that is so unified. Um, when I say unified, I talk about the military presence that we have here, that diversity in our community. Uh, we have uh, actually, uh, during my tenure as mayor, we formed our faith committee, uh, mayor's faith committee, which consists of several uh, of our local clergy that here in Jacksonville in the surrounding area uh, who have been very instrumental. There's a lot of you here tonight. It is, if you're on my committee, please indicate. I see three right there in the back of the room there. Uh, these... Th These men of God uh, are very inspirational as far as uh, the mayor's office is concerned, and they have lent uh, quite a bit of, of effort and, and, and knowledge and just love for this community to help us to uh, maintain that unity that's so important in a community. You don't see this in every community. We, we formed this committee for a reason. We wanted to get out in front of things that are bad you know, that have happened throughout, across the United States that really do not need to happen. And I think by maintaining and keeping open those lines of communication, I think that's the one key element as far as being able to keep that civility uh, in your community. And uh, again, thank you guys for, and ladies, that for all you've done to, to help move that along. And uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to work, you know, more in the future. I think we've got a meeting actually scheduled this week and uh, hopefully get together with you then. And uh, I do want to say that the military is very important. It's a very key element of our community. And I know there's a lot of veterans uh, organizations that are represented here tonight. 
Uh, this, this city is built on the military. It's uh, one of the, this is most important, one of the most important uh, element in our community. Uh, that's what we're made of, is, is the military presence here. Um, we, uh, we have, uh, we honor our, our military, both past and present. And uh, we, we don't just talk the talk, we walk the walk as far as that's concerned. And I think that, uh, I think that my veterans out there that you know, represent some of the veterans groups know that for sure. Um, I also wanna, while I'm up here talking away, I wanna thank my family and friends that came out here tonight to support me. And I got a bunch of them over here. I don't know if they all voted for me or not during the election. But they, they come out tonight. Uh, but I appreciate, I appreciate you, you taking the time out of your schedules to come out here tonight and uh, be with us. And I especially uh, want to thank uh, the lady with the red jacket on up, up there, the sweater, uh, my wife Janice, and uh, all the support that she gives me because uh, She's had to stand me up a couple of times, uh, you know, and, and keep me up. Uh, and uh, I appreciate everything you do. So um, I know I'm forgetting to say a lot of things. I have a tendency to do that every now and then. But uh, I do want to uh, give some of our non-reelected uh, council members are, that didn't have to go through this uh, process this time an opportunity to speak, and I'll start with Mr. Warden. Mr. Mayor, I just wanted to reassure you that since you did get reelected, all your friends told me that, yes, they did vote for you. <laughs> I, I bet they did. <laughs> I guess the, uh, the only thing that I have to say is that uh, this, this city works for the citizens of, of Jacksonville, each and every one of you. Uh, we don't care whether you're Republicans, Democrats, Independents. We don't really care. We just want what's best for the, for the citizens of Jacksonville. You've got a working council here, and you have a working staff. That staff goes out every day with service in mind to make sure that they're offering the citizens of Jacksonville the best service of whatever they're in, sanitation, transportation, police, fire, it doesn't matter. Their, their goal is to make sure that they're doing the best for, for us citizens. And, and we're going to we continue. We're not figureheads up here. We work. We consider ourselves employees also, employees of each of you. And I, we pledge that we'll continue to work hard over the next two years for some of us or four years, whatever. We, we continue to uh, make that pledge to you that we'll continue to work and make, make Jacksonville a city that that continues to grow and prosper for each and every one of us. So with that, thank you. Thank you, Bob. Mm -hmm. Randy. Uh, Mayor Phillips. I just briefly would like to say congratulations to the newly reelected and, and echo what's already been said today. It is an honor and a privilege to be up here and serve the citizens of Jacksonville. Uh, I'm very happy with what has had transpired since we've been up here. Like you said, we work together. We don't agree but we're always agreeable. Um, the changes that have occurred are some highly visible and maybe not that visible, but I'm very pleased. I know we've had some tough times recently and over the years, and we've got some big things coming ahead that we have to decide on. And I'm glad that we've got this team. We've done it before, and so I think we can keep on uh, making progress. Our, our city's grown, but you know, I look at the numbers of our employees and our, we've kept done well as far as keeping the city staff. I mean, the efficiencies have come into play where we haven't exponentially grown our, our overhead. We've kept it low for the sake of the citizens. But like you mentioned, you've got excellent, excellent service everywhere you turn. Again, thank you for coming out. Uh, thank you for your trust in us and uh, look forward to the job ahead. Mr. Bittner. Okay, last and least, I guess. <laughs> well, you got half of it right in yeah. here. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate uh, Dr. Washington, Mayor Pro Tem Lazar, and you, of course, Mayor, on your re-election. Uh, that election stands 
for good progress and continued good progress for the city. As people have said, it's a privilege and an honor to serve this community. And it's also a privilege and honor to work with this group of council people who have many diverse interests. We have, looking around this table, people who have governmental experience, law enforcement, military, business, and education. And altogether, those experienced attributes have been able to blend public policy into meaningful direction and success for the citizens of Jacksonville. And I see nothing wrong for nothing as an obstacle for us to continue that kind of progress and look forward to working with the Consul and, of course, our magnificent staff who make our job a lot easier servicing the people's needs of the city of Jacksonville. Thank you. Um, before we go on, I, I want to take a moment just to recognize a few people that have come out tonight. And uh, I, I saw uh, Representative Phil Shepherds with us tonight, um, Chairman Jack Bright from the Osso County Board of Commissioners, Vice Chairman Paul Buchanan, uh, Commissioner Royce Bennett, and Commissioner Mark Price. I didn't see any other commissioners. Oh, and William Shanahan. I'm sorry, William. I did see you earlier. Also from the... Uh, School, the Board of Education, we have Joel Churchwell with us. Of course, he did the uh, opening invocation for us. Is there anybody else from Judge school? Judge Paul board? Hardison. Oh, Judge Hardison's here. That's right. Here. Got Judge Hardison. Hey, Judge Hardison. And we have, of course, Judge Henry's here. And uh, we also have Sheriff Hans Miller in the back, very back of the room. And I, I, hopefully I didn't miss anybody. I think I got them all covered. Who's that? Oh, Bill's here? Okay, Bill and here from the Board of Education. All right, with that, uh, we're going to adopt an agenda in the consent items that are here tonight, and I will entertain a motion at this time to adopt the agenda and consent items. So moved. Second. Any discussion? With no discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. <laughs> Next, we have the election of our mayor pro tem. Mr. Mayor, okay. I would like to move into nomination for mayor pro tem, Mr. Lazara. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any other nominations? We have Joe Lipsa moved that the nominations be closed and the candidate accepted by acclamation. Second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Now we have some advisory committees, uh, and we're going to start. Um, we're going to start doing some. Uh, we're going to. Uh, assign some, even though we're not really changing anything. I'll read these out. Our current liaison appointments, and these are how they'll stand, is for the Board of Adjustment would be Council Member Jerry Bittner. Our uh, Community uh, <coughs> Engagement Advisory Committee is Councilman Brian Jackson. Uh, our Environmental and Appearance Advisory Committee is Dr. Washington. Our Planning and Advisory Board is Mr. Warden, Bob Warden. Uh, Recreation and Parks Advisory Committee is Brian Jackson. And our Water and Sewer Advisory Committee is Councilman Randy Thomas. Those are the mayoral appointments to the advisory committees. And next we have a couple of uh, special committees that require election by the council. The first one would be for the Oslo Civic Affairs Committee. Uh, there's one, one person assigned as the liaison. Mayor Phillips, I move uh, to nominate uh, Council Member Jerry Bittner for the Onslow Civic Affairs Committee. Second. Second. Is there any other nominations? I'll make the motion to uh, close the nominations and accept my acclamation. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Next we have two, assign or two uh, assignments to the uh, Transportation Advisory Committee. And I'd entertain uh, nominations at this time. Should only be one. Yeah. Mayor Phillips, I move that uh, we elect Bob Warden for the advisory committee slot. Okay. Randy Thomas, too. Is Randy on it? And yeah. Randy Thomas, yes, that's correct. Yeah. Move the nominations be closed and the candidates elected by acclamation. 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed. Next, we have a, a, some presentation. A presentation. I'm gonna come around front and take care of that. <coughs> I'd like to ask Pastor Chris Phillips from the River of Life Church and his parishioners that are with him tonight, if you would join me up front. Since 2006, the River of Life Church has generously made an annual donation to the city of Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. This donation assists the Recreation and Parks Department in providing scholarships to children for recreation programs such as summer camps and after school programs and youth sports. Um, I do, uh, I'll turn it over to you to make the presentation. Very good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mr. Mayor, before I begin, I just want to congratulate you on being reelected. I have to be honest and say that I have never voted for you. Uh, and uh, that is only because I live just outside of the city limits. But congratulations to you and to all of the... If, all, we, if we annex you, you'll vote. <laughs> then I guarantee you, you have my vote. I want to congratulate all the other council members that were, that were reelected. But... Uh, Today, we are so happy to be able to once again present a check to the city of Jacksonville for underprivileged kids for the summer programs for $10,000. We're so grateful to God for enabling us to be able to do that. We also wanted to invite you personally and all the city council members to the very first service in our new building at 2460 Gum Branch Road. We'll be opening that up just before Christmas and on that Sunday at 9 o'clock and 1115 will be having services. So we're very excited about that as well, and we thank the city for all of the services that they provided and all the ways in which you all have worked with us to be able to do this project. It's been uh, very complicated, and it's a big job, and we've had a lot of help, so we appreciate it very much. Well, Mr. Mayor. Looking forward to seeing the uh, inside of your new church. We can't wait for you to see. I can't it. wait. We got a little bit of a. We got a few uh, pictures that we're going to show up here on the wall. Uh, the funds from last year's donation uh, provided a new summer day camp program at Curl Street Recreation Center, and the Recreation and Parks Department were able to provide, provide enrichment and summer programs to more than 256 children. Investing in our youth reduces crime and improves academic achievement for students. That is, this is why your donation, your donation is helping to accomplish this. And that's what, what it, it's going to a very good cause. As you can see the kids uh, on the screen there. Uh, we want to give you our sincere thanks for all that you do for this community. And it's, it's, it's just been a continuation year after year that you do it. And uh, we're very thankful for you being you know, there to, to support us like you do. Uh, uh, it's, it's great to have. I think you've actually done things uh, for public safety in the past, mm -hmm. and, yes. but right now our, your focus, our focus mostly is on it's kids, on kids. and, and right. taking care of our children. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much, each and every one of you, for you know, what you do through your, through your faith and through your church there. And again, like I say, I'm, I'm looking forward, very much forward to seeing this new church. You know, I've seen it from the highway. Of course, I thought I was going to get a, t a tour of it, but never Well, we are going to make sure you have a tour. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you, and uh, God bless all of you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. to the plaque just a moment here. Uh, I was supposed to give you this. <laughs> I can't expect for you to give, give the city a $10,000 check and, not, and keep your plaque too. But thanks, Chris. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. For You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank thanks, you. Sir. Okay, got one more presentation to make, and this time I would like to ask Council Member Bob Warden to join me up front, please. He didn't know this. He's surprised. <laughs> it's my pleasure tonight to recognize a milestone of longevity service. Councilman Robert Bob Warden has served the city as a member of the city council for 10 years. He was elected to city council and sworn into office on December 1st, 2009. Hard to believe that much time's gone by. I was a young man then. You were. <laughs> Councilman Warden is no stranger to volunteerism and service to our citizens. Prior to his election to city council, he served on the city's planning advisory board for 15 years and the water and sewer advisory board for six years. Councilman Warden currently serves as the city's liaison to the planning advisory board and as the mayor's representative on the Jacksonville Oslo Economic Development Board of Directors. He also serves as the chairman of the transportation advisory board and he was recently appointed by the city council to the city county task force to work with the city and county elected officials on mutually beneficial projects. On behalf of the citizens of Jacksonville, I'm proud to present Councilman Bob Warden with his 10 year longevity certificate and pen. And I assume there's a pen inside there. Is there a check in there too? There you go. Mayor. <laughs> All right, thank you, uh, Dr. Wooder. So this time, um, we're going to, like uh, Dr. Wooder said, we're going to adjourn, but please, if you would remain where you are for a few moments so while we get these photographs taken, as soon as that's done, uh, we'll be adjourned. Of the reception. You want in in the atrium for the reception. You want to do a formal adjournment at this time? Did you make a motion? Yes, I'll, I'll move to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.